Okay, so I decided to take a pretty in-depth look at Azure as well as AWS, Amazon Web Services, um, particularly from a .NET perspective. Um, I can tell you immediately that the stuff that Azure is offering is just as good and cheaper than AWS is offering, and it doesn't have it doesn't come at you with 50 to 60 you know different interchanging tools that might appear one day in your dashboard and then go away the next. Microsoft seems a little bit more mm, structured in their approach to offering specific services. Now Gartner hit them in, uh, in their most recent um, cloud offering, or I think it was IISS, so that's Infrastructure as a Service um, Review, because they didn't have as many tool sets or seemingly as many icons, and that's really myopic, and I can kind of tell you why. So we have HD Insight here, that's basically Microsoft's Hadoop cluster. Um, we have the SQL databases, and we have a bunch of other stuff here that's really specifically related to Microsoft, which makes a lot of sense if you are a .NET shop. If you are a 51% SQL Server shop, you need to specifically look at Azure because of this. Um, notwithstanding the fact that you know every six months when you open up your AWS dashboard, you probably have different tools popping in. Amazon is so bold and aggressive in all of its different tool sets, you honestly don't know what's coming in and coming out the very next um, month. Um, and you can see that just by going on YouTube and looking at some of the AWS stuff. Now, I want to show you how, how quickly I was able to just throw up a simple web application in ASP.NET. I didn't connect it to any SQL Server databases right now. Um, I'm probably going to do that up, do that in a follow-up. Um, it'll be very very simple, very straightforward, okay? So all we're going to do is we're going to open up Visual Studio, okay? We, we initially made our, our website here uh, just by um, going to New. Um, but right now, um, what I want to do is I want to prove to you that this one is a blank website, Brian Swan at Azure Websites .net. And all I did was I went in here to a new project and I simply just navigated to the cloud. This is an ultimate by the way. I think it's probably going to be the same in premium and I mean you can get this uh, the free edition and um, it's no longer even in an express. It's Visual Studio Online you can as well. Um, so I'm just going to do ASP.NET Web App. Um, you're not going to have the ability, uh, well, you're not, it's not that you're not going to have the ability, but the, the ability has been migrated from going through the actual ASP.NET um, here. It's been, mig oops. it's been migrated. So from here, you need to go actually to here. Okay? So all you're going to do is select this, and once you do that, well, you're just going to go ahead and you can choose, and you'll see that it goes goes to the web. So right now, I'm just going to publish this, and you're going to see this is where I originally published it. Let's say I want to publish it to a new URL, right? So let's say I have dev test in production. I need to set up these different things. This is great because it actually shows you the previews of things that have changed. It's it's I, I can't say how cool that is that they just immediately you know show you exactly line item by line item what's changed. Um, I've already published it to this place, so obviously nothing's going to be different. So let's set up a new one. All I have to do is click um, the uh, Microsoft Azure websites. I've already been signed in. I can just do a drop down on my on my um, domain, and it will automatically pull and populate all of this stuff in. I don't have to validate this because I know it's right. Um, go to next, and let's go ahead and publish that. So the build's starting right now, and the build should uh, publish this entire web app. I went in and I edited the about and layout and a couple other things, um, a couple of the drop downs. Um, everything looks great. It comes with uh, jQuery baked into it. Um, Modernizer is going to be baked into it. Um, that's a JavaScript framework that helps to work with um, previous uh, uh, browsers like uh, IE7, IE8 stuff like that. Okay, so we can see here that we, we've succeeded. Yep, there we go. So you can see how fast and easy that was. Um, you guys can go and check out Azure. Um, just go ahead, just type it into Google. Azure, start your free trial. You get a $200 free just by just by registering with Azure. Um, and uh, you can do um, RDP connections. You can connect um, with, uh, you can get your own um, remote uh, virtual machine images and just RDP right in there. 
um, and, and set up whatever you want. If you want to do a SharePoint instance, if you want to do SQL Server, what have you. But if you're a SharePoint, if you're a SharePoint SQL Server shop, um, you shouldn't be looking at AWS. Uh, that's my two cents. Signing out.